Okay, as you can see, I got the jiggy. And if you try talking to this guy, he says that. And one of these turtles right here, I believe is Tip Tup. I believe it's this one right here. Hey, watch, <laughs> well, you yeah, fatty, oh my god. See, now they won't hurt you. It is this one, because he's the only one that will talk to you, I believe. I'm gonna ground pound right on your freaking face. And if you go back in, you'll see that there's nobody here. Suspicious! <laughs> Alright, now let's head to Mumbo Jumbo's house. Yes, his last name is actually Jumbo. And in Banjo-Tooie, there's an Indian girl that changes you into things called Humba Wumba. Those are the only two people, or characters, that have last names in the whole Banjo-Kazooie game that I know of. Whoops. And if we come over here, hit the R button. Ground pound on that. And what the R button does, it gives you a better camera angle to get that jiggy right there. Otherwise, you'd be walking it like this, and it's a little bit more challenging, and you could fall off like I just did. So now you gotta go and do it all over again, like I have to do. I might need to crack open that honeycomb nest. Plus kill this thing. Get back on these things. Go through the maze once more. And this time we won't fall off because we already got that jiggy. And we hop up there, get those boots, get that note, get that note. And now we got an even number of 80. There's that one. Hop up here. As you see, there's an empty honeycomb. I want to grab it. Go behind his chair. And there's a mumbo token. Shut up, mumbo. Alright, 
Now as you see, there's a big crocodile monument right here. Well, if you look closely, you'll see there's a hole in the nose. You want to go in it? Jump right there, get that mumbo skull, and you'll see this is another get mini game, Mr. Vile. And you see those white running sh you see those white things over here? Those are called running shoes. You won't you can do this game. You can I advise you do this game with the running shoes because Mr. Vile gets very quick towards the end and you will get a jiggy after you beat him of course so for a while bubble gloop swamp will be considered beaten until further notice and there's purple jinjo So, Mr. Vile has our last Jiggy, which we won't get right now. And we'll get these two Mumbo Skulls. Get those gold feathers. And unlike Banjo, if you use the Crocodile, you get two Honeycombs instead of one. What in the hell? Where's our other one? Oh yeah, that's right. I told you we would get those note those notes later where our blue ginjo was. Well, we are this time. It just makes him go faster by just hitting B repeatedly so he can chomp. And the same goes for the frogs. You get double the, the honeycombs. And remember where we busted that ice boulder? Well, this is the guy to go through that little tiny hole. So you want to leave this world. Now that it's somewhat complete without that last Jinjo, which is in here. Or not Jinjo, that Jiggy, which is in that crocodile. So go ahead and leave this world. Just cut straight across here. Wow! Your best note for this world is now 100! Whoop de doo, Basil! All right, and after this is where I'm going to stop for the day. And I apologize for those of you who are eager to know what happens next, but you'll have to wait a few days because I'm going to be busy for a while. And the cheat that he gave us, blue eggs. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends about me. 
and we will see you in a few days. And a few days could be either this Friday or Saturday. So I apologize, but you'll have to wait to see what more exciting stuff we're gonna be dealing with next. But I guess we will change back. Or maybe not. See you guys later. Bye-bye.